it shouldn't have happened to her and it shouldn't happen to anybody. So we hope they find the person because he's out still out there. He could do it to somebody else. So we just been praying and asking God to give us some closure and let them find out who did this. Ferdy Lucky was Michaela Lucky's great aunt. She was a great, genuine person, mm -hmm. lovable, funny. Yes. Um, she loved her family. Mm -hmm. um, she was just a happy young lady. Siobhan Childs was Michaela's cousin. She was watching the news in November when we reported a dismembered body was found in a wooded area of North Fairmount. Then in January, when the coroner called a press conference, hoping someone would come forward to help them identify the remains of the Jane Doe. She was somebody's daughter. She was very likely somebody's mother. And she could have been somebody's sibling, cousin, aunt. I believed in my soul it was her. And, and what did you do? I, I called um, the authorities. Siobhan's instincts were correct. Jane Doe was Michaela. What happened? Does anybody know what happened? Cincinnati has got to come together. Cincinnati has got to work together. Bishop Ennis Tate was joined by Cincinnati Councilman Scotty Johnson begging the community for help. Miss Lucky deserves justice. Her family deserves justice. Somebody out there has some information. Cincinnati PD's victim advocate said any information could crack the case. The last time you saw Michaela, that information is important. Anything that you can give at all. If you saw her at the grocery store, call Crime Stoppers, call the office and let us know. We don't know what happened, but it shouldn't have happened um, because she wasn't evil to anybody or mean to anybody. She was a nice young lady. She grew up in the church. Michaela's aunt says that Michaela had a mental illness and was off of her meds. And when this happened, she would disappear for days, even weeks at a time. But they never expected this to happen to her. They say that she would usually frequent Lachlan, Lincoln Heights, the West End. She would have turned 27 this month. Paula. Thank you, David. In the meantime, if you have information that you think might help police in this case, you can call Crime Stoppers, that number 513-352-3040. You don't have to give your name to qualify for a cash reward. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.